For this video, we'll be making three different examples to clarify the details that can be achieved. So without wasting any other time, let's get started. Let's start with the base first. Right click on the upper section, select sandbox. A dialog box will appear on the left. Then select from scratch and enter a grid space. Right now we are using two fade as a grid spacing. Make a base or a rectangle as per your requirement. Then choose smooth tool. Select a radius and then you can perform ups and downs to make contours on the same surface. Repeat the process to get the desired look. Make sure to change the radius of smooth to get uneven bumps. Then make a rectangle of similar size and convert it into a group. Create path line using arc and then select all the lines and copy it at a certain distance. Delete the unnecessary part. Make sure to remove the edges and only to keep the path. Keep a copy aside for further process. Select the surface, go to soften edges and click on soften coplanar. Then select the path, click on drape tool and select the base layer. This will help us to stamp the path on the base layer. Give soil material to the sides and path as center. and make a copy in downward direction. Erase the path and change the landscape material to grass this time. For example 2. Now use the spare copy and make a copy to downward direction. This time use stamp tool and click on the base surface. This process will take time. Once it's done, you can pull the path downward. Again, go to soften edges and click on soften coplanar. Repeat the material process. Copy the path again and stamp it to the base surface. Then make another copy downwards. This time, change the landscape material to a different grass type. Now for example 3, copy the path and make a offset towards the center. Copy the base layer, use stem tool for the main path and repeat the process for offset path. Set the height as per your requirement. Now copy the base layer again and use stem tool for the main path and make a second copy of the initial layer. Give soil material to the uppermost layer and different grass materials for the bottom two layers. Refine the path depth as by your requirement. Now let's just quickly jump to Lumion. For example 1, give the default material of soil and adjust the dial as per your requirement. Now select the base layer and go to 3D grass, then select a type of grass, double click and adjust the grass size for variation of soil and grass. Select the bottom layer and give a different material of grass. Here we are using default grass and then switching on the landscape grass for the setting. Adjust the grass size as per your need. This will help us to achieve two different variation of grass in a particular landscape, which will give more realistic feel. Coming towards our third and last example. As you can see, we have already achieved a semi raw look. But for this example, we are going to change the soil texture with the one having tractor tires. 
to achieve that natural feel and look of the field. Let's just upload all the maps and then adjust the parameters accordingly. Adding some plantation and shrubs and rocks around the path to make it more realistic. Also tweaking some settings to achieve the final look. And there you go. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comment section if you would like to have a detailed Lumion video on the same topic. And as always, subscribe if you are new to the channel.